How's it going guys? My name is Alana, and I'd like to show you some of my favorite places in Slovakia. It has old castles and towns from the Middle Ages. By the end of this video, I'm sure you'll be wondering why you haven't been to Slovakia. Let's look at 10 beautiful places to visit there. Number 10 is the Gothic Wonder Saint, Martin's Cathedral in Bratislava. It's one of the most popular places to visit in Slovakia. It was built in 1452 and is one of the oldest churches that is still standing in Europe. Its 85-meter-high spire is the tallest thing in the Old Town skyline. It's part of the Western Wall of Bratislava Castle, one of the most well-known historical sites in Slovakia because it was where the Hungarian kings and Queen Maria Theresa were crowned. The building is also beautiful because it has a single golden crown. Bardajov is another UNESCO World Heritage Treasure in northeastern Slovakia. It is an ancient town with Renaissance building that looks like it was frozen in time. It's one of the most beautiful places to visit in Slovakia. The Beskid Mountains are all around it. It has a lot of wooden churches and houses in the Gothic style. The famous saint, Egidius Basilica, is a beautiful example of Gothic building that covers the skyline of the town. The market area is the most interesting. This beautiful plaza with some of the most beautiful pastel-colored buildings is the center of city life. The unique Bardajov Spa is known for its mineral waters and healing treatments. If you want the best view of the city, climb up the tower of the Basilica of St. Egidius. The scenery will blow you away. For a taste of traditional Slovak life, Vokalinis is a place to be. Situated in the mountains all by itself, today, the lively town is like a museum in the open air. It got its name from the Slovakian town of Folk, which means wolf. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has traditional building from the 14th century. Surrounded by farms and fields and has a bike path that goes through it. It has unaltered log house homesteads, a school with paintings, and a wooden bell tower from 1770. On the edge of town is the beautiful church of the Visitation of the Virgin Mary. It was built in 1875 and has a single nave, a tower, and a sacristy. The Baroque classical architecture is seen in the church. If you ever wished you were in a fairy tale, Orava Castle, this medieval marvel looks like something out of a storybook. Located about three hours from Bratislava and may be the best-placed castle because it sits on top of a thin rock cliff above the Orava River. It's also one of the creepiest buildings I've ever seen. It was used in many horror movies Nosferatu, so it makes you think of Dracula. In the 13th century, this castle was built on a rocky outcrop above a river. It was first made of wood, but after the Tarnar attack, it was rebuilt out of stone. It was also burned down and then rebuilt, just like a lot of other houses. For people who are interested in archaeology, Orava Castle has a museum with some great old items and archaeological finds that show visitors some of the area's long past. You can't go to Orava Castle in April because it's always closed. I just think it's crazy that they were able to build this castle on top of the stone hills. It doesn't even look real. If you want to feel spooky, you've got to check out this castle. If you're a castle enthusiast, this UNESCO World Heritage Site, Spiss Castle is non-negotiables, perched majestically on a hilltop in eastern Slovakia. The castle covers about 10 acres and is one of the largest castles in the whole of Central Europe. In the 12th century, it was built on top of a castle that was already there. Over the years, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. In the 18th century, the last people who lived in the castle left it because it was too hard to live in. I'm sure the hike up to the castle was extremely difficult for them. A fire burned down the house in 1780, which was sad. The reason of the fire is still a mystery, but one idea is that the owner set it on fire to lower their taxes. Who can say? 
Anyway, what I like best about the Spiss Castle is the huge area that is surrounded by walls. The Romanesque palace in the castle made it one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1993. To have a stunning view of the entire landscape, climb to the top of the watchtower and thank us later. After that, Banska Bistrica, a secret town in the middle of Slovakia with well-preserved medieval buildings. It's located on the Hron River in a long, wide valley surrounded by the Low Tatras, the Velika Fatra, and the Kremnica Mountains. Starting with the charming old town, where the winding streets show a mix of ancient architecture and colorful buildings that decorate the town. Next is the famous Clock Tower, a proud sign of the town. You can climb to the top of the tower to get a breathtaking view of the charming roofs. It was the place where Slovaks rose up against the Germans in 1944. The Museum of the Slovak National Uprising about the event is in the Old Town Hall, and don't miss the Slovak National Uprising Square and the memorial and town fortifications. Let the town's timeless charm take over your senses as you explore its historic stories. Want to find the best places to ski and hike? Next, we're going to the highest mountains in the country, High Tatra's Mountain Range. It's a hiker's dream, with lakes and hills that will take your breath away. There are 26 mountains in the High Tatras as a whole. Drlachowski Stit is 2,655 meters high and is the tallest point in the Tatras in all of Slovakia, and Lamiki Stit is the second highest. There are lots of tracks and paths you can walk, bike, or ski on. It's a great place to go camping or rock climbing and access to the best snowboarding in the country. If you don't like hiking or skiing, but want to see beautiful scenery, take a cable car to the top of La Mickey. You will be shocked. Even so, I still think it's great for summer. You will see tumbling waterfalls, beautiful fields with bright wildflowers, and wildlife, like the Eurasian brown bear. You can also visit the Sturbsky Pliso Lake or swim in one of the amazing hot pools. Next castle is Bojnes Castle. Not only are this fort is perfect for Instagram, this building looks like it was taken right out of a Disney movie. Located in the old town near the Nitra River, it was built out of wood in the 12th century. In the 20th century, it was rebuilt into look like the castles in the Loire Valley in France. From the outside, the castle looks like something out of a movie, and interestingly, it has been in many movies around the world. Your jaws will definitely drop when you see the inside, there are a lot of stairs to climb. This castle is about two hours by car from Bratislava. It may be the most beautiful and visited castle in all of Slovakia. If you like castles, you can't go wrong by coming to this beautiful place. Next, let's fly to Kasita, a place where art and history meet. It's the second biggest city in Slovakia. The city has a beautiful Gothic architecture church from the 14th century called St. Elizabeth Cathedral. There are also a number of churches and castles to see, including the famous Eastern Slovakia Museum. If you have kids with you, you should take them to the Kasita Zoo and enjoy seeing the animals with them. It's really cool. Don't pass up the chance to try traditional Slovak food in cozy places. Kasita is a fascinating mix of the old and the new. The modern side of Kasita, with its new buildings, trendy shops, and busy nightlife, adds to the city's lively vibe. First up, Bratislava. Did I say that? Oops, located on the border between Austria and Hungary. After the Velvet Revolution, which broke Czechoslovakia into two separate countries, Bratislava became the capital of Slovakia. This makes it one of the youngest capital cities in Europe. The Bratislava Castle is one of the most well-known symbol of the city since the Middle Ages. It's on hill, right above the Danube River. In the 9th century, work on the castle began, and it stood until a terrible fire burned it down. It was rebuilt in 1964. 
The castle has four towers, a beautiful courtyard with a garden, and a strong wall all around it. It's just huge, and you can see it from everywhere in the city. Wander through the maze-like streets of the charming old town, where ancient buildings and pretty squares blend together to make a place with a timeless charm. You can go to the UFO Bridge to get one of the best views of the castle and city. It was built in 1972. It's a 278-foot-tall bridge that goes over the Danube River. On the top, there is a place to look out over the city and a restaurant with the best views. So that's it for my top 10 in Slovakia. Tell me in the comments below where your favorite place is. I also made a video about Slovenia that you might like. If you liked this video, click like and make sure to subscribe to this station so you can see more like it. You can find me on www.yushistorians.com to find out more. Goodbye, and I'll see you next time.